I'm not gonna say that the Horcrux did this, but somehow this, I don't know, man, that was crazy. That was crazy. Are you guys there? Can you hear me? I think this just means we're gonna hit our community goal. Hello, hello. I think this means we're gonna hit our community goal, friends. You know? Oh my God, did we do it? Did we do it? We did it! This worked out! Yay! We did it, you guys! We hit the community goal! We're gonna have a campfire night! We're back, BB, and better than ever. We're gonna have a campfire night, and it's gonna be amazing. Stream is unbroken. We're gonna do a bonfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that is exciting. Okay. It is, yes, things are looking up. All is well. Let me see. What's going on with my audio now? Because now I can't hear you guys. Oh, yay. I'll tell Becca Bot. She'll be so happy. Uh, da -da. We hit the community goal. Oh, she sees all. She knows. We did it. Oh, it's going to be fun. Okay. Why can't I hear? Arr. Arr. Sorry, guys. One sec. Woohoo! Can you you guys can hear the game? But why can't I? Wouldn't that be nice? You know? Now, I appreciate my birthday bitch. Participant. Maybe like this? Like, the tip jar is being filled from the gifts. Oh, and Jake, that sucks. <sighs> Are you still on home? I think, doesn't the office close at four?
you guys, were you guys in that with me? Wow. I was deeply invested in that round. Wow. Needed, needed that little win. This one's taking people forever to finish. I mean, it's great music. How can you not dance to it? That's what's up. So just do your best, little Cinco, and rest assured that it's enough for me. Good luck, bud. Will you, do you mind grabbing me another uh, bubbly beverage? The spin, can I get a raspberry spin drip from the free? Okay. Whoa, whoa. I mean, don't. <laughs> Roll off. Roll off, I mean, no. Also, honey, if you get tired, we don't have to keep it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just letting you know. Ah, I hope that we're on this level long enough for us to get to my favorite part of this whole song. Right after this, thing is my favorite part of the song. Ah, oh, man, Mags, you just missed the best part of the best Fall Guys song. Thank you. Ah, oh, the thing is. Guys, is that the acoustics in this day studio? It's just so fun to sing in here. There's nothing more precious to preserve. Oh, your AirPods are regular headphones? Regu these white ones? AirPods, oh, I don't know.
We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Kendall. Hey, guys, if you were hosting this stream, I had to restart the stream. Um, so remember, if you can't, uh, you know, uh, follow or subscribe or do anything like that, you can always host and share your stream with your friends. <laughs> Schmunk said that's really funny. I've got so many books to recommend in that category. Uh, specifically. Some. Have you read Some? It's like short stories written by this guy, David. I don't know, something. But it's called Some. And it's uh, this neuroscientist's different short stories and ideas of what is possible to happen when you die. Some. S-U-M. David Eagleman, something like that, maybe? Some, S-U-M. It's got a blue cover, and it's really cute. It's really, it's, it's great. It's not cute, like, adorable. It's, like, cute, like, feels good to hold in your hand. It's a thin blue book, and I like it. The way it feels. At least in my memory. Okay, let me look up the name of that book. Some. The Afterlife by David Eagleman. Really great. Really great. The Defining Decade, but you know, honestly, I can't imagine the defining decade, but like at the same time, like how could any book written? I don't know how anyone could imagine what this generation is going through and what we're all living about to enter into. Like, like change. So it's hard for me to recommend books that are like climb your way up the corporate ladder or don't climb your way up the corporate ladder. I'm like, how can anyone know? Like, I think what's helpful are books that's like listen to your heart, like listen to yourself, you know, and trust yourself because that's something that like nobody tries to teach you. So, but yes, the defining decade was. It's good. It just tells you not to waste your time. You know? But... Driven to... Oh, oh, oh! Michaela's right. Like, books that, cha books that change my life completely. Driven to distraction. That just wildly changed my, like, relationship to, um, ADHD and all that stuff. Uh... Definitely some, but just as not like a uh, non-fiction, but just as a really like lovely um, introspective from this person who lives a totally different life than mine. So, um, but also mostly stuff like like. very specific to myself and I guess like part of self-knowledge is also like understanding what specifically you need to hear so I guess in terms of another like solid book rec to change your life I think you should allow yourself to directly look up subjects that you're having trouble admitting to yourself you know what I mean like you read a thousand books about your life nothing's gonna slow you down more than not hearing the own voice. You know what I mean? So, so, uh, so that, yeah.
Mm -hmm. Almost there. Wow. Second place in the final round. Mm -hmm. Or third. Mm -hmm. oh, close. Yeah, no more group think in your own brain. So it's like, don't look up like, oh, I should read a book about, like, just list, yeah, whatever it is that you are having trouble with. Like, for me, I started reading books about death because <laughs> I was like, mortality! Ah! So then it's like I read some and I read all these different books from all these different types of people, like scientists versus poets versus like, you know, Teek Nahat Han, you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, listen to what you specifically want to read about and say okay to that because a lot of people are going to tell you to do a lot of things.